The Chicago area is infested with furry, ferocious critters. They're on the loose and running rampant in people's homes. So my local guy Brad and I are going after them by hand. There's no time for traps. Unfortunately for us, these guys are mean. Ow, he hurts! Go, 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 go! Ah, 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 wow, wow. Okay, I gotta help. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Look at it over You do, brother. You do. Hurry, hurry, okay, hurry. go ahead. And... You want to drop it? Oh, you okay, dude? Boy, he grabbed onto his buddy and pulled out of my hand. That one hurt. Dude, you all right? Woo! He got me on that one. Took a yeah, chunk out did. of my finger. Man, oh, lucky well. you tripled up on them gloves. These squirrels are biting the crap out of us, so we couldn't get the trap open, and they escaped again. Worse than that, they had punctured right through three layers of Brad's gloves and drew blood. Brad rinsed his hand off immediately and put antiseptic on the bite. Squirrels carry all kinds of diseases, so he had to make sure he didn't catch one. If it turned out to be rabid, he'd be in serious trouble. Ugh. Oh, look at this guy, he's on the end of the table. Boom! Ah! Wait, I see one. Oh, damn. Come here, dude. Man, I can't believe them all running around like this, man. Did you get one, Brad? Yep, Billy, I got one. I got them. Billy, I got one. How many you see? One right here. Try to get him, though. Hold on. Ow. What's up, brother? Holy shit. You're talky. Don't make me tase you, bro. Woo. Quick. They are fast. Trap stuff. Got one, got one, got one. OK, need a cage, need a cage. I gotta keep shaking him down or he's gonna bite the hell out of it. Oh, you did get one, look at you. Oh, 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 man. Oh, whoa. Yeah, you don't wanna get bit. <laughs> cool. Okay, ready? 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 Here we go, in, in, boom, that's two down. With these two criminals finally in the cage, we had to make sure that we didn't leave any other invaders behind. There's one, right here. Where? What, you see one? Yeah, you ready? And sure enough, there was another one. I couldn't believe it. This place was infested. I'll be damned. Ow! And these little suckers have sharp teeth. You got them? Yeah. Ow, get them off my skins. Ow, ow, ow. It was out of control. These varmints were biting right through the gloves, and Brad was getting tore up. That had to hurt. <laughs> ah! Damn, they're running between my legs. Golly, dude. What's that, brother? Got him. Got him. Good job. Damn. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah, man. Whatever you're ready. OK. All right, get him in. Ooh. That didn't work out well. Now we got two loose, dude. Where'd he go? One got away? Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. OK, I got the basket again. All right, I got one. You got one? He's under the chair here. What's up, brother? Oh, he's getting into the chair. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> okay, he's biting the out of me. Oh, okay, ready? All right. Yours first. <laughs> okay, ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. In the cage, Rocky. In the cage. Boom. Go. <sighs> now we got him. Any more? Don't bite me again. Oh, She's gonna be pissed when she sees what we, what we did to her living room, dude. Look at the living room. We did more damage than the squirrel did. Oops. You weren't watching this the whole time, were you? Uh, Man, yeah. uh, sorry about the living room. <laughs> you had three squirrels come through the fireplace, and, well, us and the squirrels managed to tear up the whole living room. The good news is we got them right here, man. As all long three as of you them. you got them all gone, thank we you. We do. You, you want to run them out, and I'll fix this disaster here? <laughs> Tornado Brotherton. Right, there you cool. go, man. Good job. Thank you, brother. It was awesome. That here. was. Meredith? Hello, yes. Hi, I'm uh, Billy with Bexcon Pest Control. Hi. How are you nice doing, ma'am? Nice to meet you. My name is Meredith Price. We were hearing noises pretty much all over a side of our house, and it was scaring my children to death. And me. Can you say hi, Billy? Hi. <laughs> you sure have a lovely family here, ma'am. Thank you. Is it just the children hearing the noises, or have we're you and your husband? Hearing, everybody's we're hearing, all hearing noises. Them. Yes, and this one likes to bang on the wall and make sure that they hear her, too. It kind of sounds like boing boing. Stand boing. It doesn't sound like boing boing. Well, it sounds like a moose is in our house. Maybe. It's loud. 
something's in the wall, in the ceiling. They haven't actually been able to sleep in their room for a long time. Y'all aren't sleeping in your room? They okay. retreated to mommy and daddy's room. I mean, it's so loud. Y'all mind me going into your room? They not at all. Let's go, ladies. Let's go take a look at this. Oh, very cool. So, I need to really understand where we're hearing these noises. The A lot of them around there. Okay. That corner of the house. And then in the, the house. wall, kind of right in here. Underneath where the bookcase is out in the hall, the storage so we'll shed. Why, why did you mention the storage shed? Are you hearing noises there as oh, well? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, very so cool. It's just all over. Uh-huh. Well, so the key to catching whatever's in the walls is finding the home base. There's a storage area downstairs under the bedroom, so I'm gonna go check that out. If you ladies can find something to do for a couple hours, that way I don't injure anybody chasing my monster around. Okay, ladies? <laughs> okay, this is the area uh, below the girls' room. The gap under this door could support activity from a mouse to a small possum. So now I'm looking for an entry point to the underside of the girl's room here. Whatever it is, my concern is that they're gonna chew on the exposed wires, creating a ripe environment for a house fire. Some grease marks up there. Furry animals uh, leave rub marks or grease marks because there's oil on their fur. So when they're moving around, they leave grease marks and oil marks everywhere. Whatever these furry creatures are, I'm sure they're making their home inside the house to stay safe from any predators out in nature. I got one more spot over here to check out, so let's do that real quick. I, I think I heard something. Oh, I know I heard something that time. <laughs> ah, it's a squirrel. See, this room shares the same walls as the girls' rooms. I'm positive they're hearing the squirrels running up and down the walls at night. That's the noises. These squirrels built one heck of a house up here. They're a definite danger. With all that exposed wiring in that storage room, it's like a Roman candle about to go off. I gotta get these squirrels out of here now. <laughs> I'm gonna lie and wait and see if any come out. Now it's time to go head to head with the squirrels in the storage room. Hand catching can be tricky and dangerous, but it's the only thing I can do to get these squirrels out of here fast. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. Let's set this up. We got one crack at this. Whew, boy, I had a lucky break on this one. Thank God he went up under a tennis racket. Put a flashlight on him and get a look at him. See, there he is. His butt's contained. Now, Problem too. It's hot in here, man. Look at me sweating. I gotta get him into a cage pretty quick. He's not gonna make it too long there. Let's get him out of there. Here we go. If things go as planned, this should be easy. I get the squirrel into the trap and I'm out of here. All right, using the blankie. I'm gonna try to cover his eyes. We can't really see what's going on. I'm gonna cover the squirrel's eyes. That way he doesn't freak out when I try to grab him. Ooh, he's starting to resist. Okay, now we're gonna pull them together. Sorry, little dude. Sorry. Just didn't want to get bit, bro. All right, here we go. Back flip. Full quarter twist. Whoop -sha. Got any friends, dude? Man, one down. I hope there's not any more. I think we've got one in the corner right here. So what I thought was gonna be an easy job just got tougher. There's definitely more than one squirrel in here. Okay, I got him trapped over here. Whoa, blind him, blind him, blind him. Whoa, whoa. Jumped on me, huh? Squirrels are quick, man, and when you're in a confined space, they can make you look slow and silly. Okay, I'm blinding him with the light, blinding him with the light. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blind him light, blind him. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. For over 20 years, I have safely and successfully hand-grabbed many squirrels, but I gotta stay focused. It's not uncommon for one of these little fellas to get you when you ain't looking. I hate golf. Squirrels on the golf course, you know. You know, start aiming for them. Hold on there, Chief. Bomb! Oh, jeez, don't you bite me, dude. Oh, he's a fighter, too. Okay, I got him, I'm putting him in the trap. 
Ow! Ah! I got him right here, though. Boom. Ah, it bit me again. Boy, this one's a fighter. Man, he bit the hell out of me twice. You know, I like a good chase every once in a while, but this guy is starting to annoy me. You wanna go in there, boy? Come on, come on. Get in it, Kate. I got a really nasty bite on the elbow. I thought by now I'd be out of here. Not. I've just heard another noise somewhere over here. At this point, I have no idea how many squirrels we're dealing with. They're literally coming out of the woodwork. You hear him? He thinks he's pissed. All right, here we go. Oh! Whoa! Jeez! Oh, he's a big one, too. Oh, my God. What are you, like a pregnant mama? He is a beast, too. Watch it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's a monster freaking squirrel, man. A monster freaking squirrel. If that guy bites me, I'm serious. He could take, like, half my freaking finger off. These squirrels are feisty, fast, and not happy to see me. Whoa. Come here, boy. Come here. Whoa, whoa. I'm going to use this tennis racket. Oh, what's up? Oh, you want some of this? Hey guys, thanks for coming out. How you doing, sir? Good. I'm Brad from Suburban Wildlife Control. Scott. Uh, Billy, sir. Scott. What's going on? Well, I've got something in my basement and it's not happy. I went downstairs because there's a loud and screeching noise. I think it's in trouble. And it's like one. Rah, rah, so, yeah, let's run in and take a look real quick here. Sir, we're gonna run down. Okay. All right. Let's go take a look. It's somewhere right over here. I hear it, yeah. Got some two right here. Right here. Ooh, I heard that. Sounds like a squirrel to me. Yeah, positively. These gases are actually uh, going up and hitting that animal, so we better hurry. It sounded like we had a squirrel stuck in the pipe, but we wouldn't know for sure until we got it out. This was definitely an emergency, and the homeowner called just in time. If the animal were to die, it could potentially block the toxic fumes from getting through the pipe and end up causing an explosion. We had to get this guy out fast. Okay, Brad's up uh, getting a cage for us. I think the animal's right here in this pipe, so while he's gone, I'm gonna take this off, try to block both ends with these towels I grabbed, hold the animal in place till he gets down here. It's an emergency. If I don't get the animal out right now, it could run up and make this job that much more complicated, so we're rocking it. Okay, I think it's in this section right here. Okay, nope, it's definitely up here, not in this section of tube. All right, can we see him in there? Flashlight. Whoa! That was one gigantic squirrel. No wonder he got stuck in there. But if I were to reach in, he'd either bite me or move further up the pipe. So Brad was gonna have to chase him out from above, and I had to try to grab him with the tongs. I brought a uh, plumbing snake. I'm gonna try to lower this down the chimney and chase him out of that elbow. I'm gonna go ahead and step back and allow this guy some room to come out, and then we're gonna get him. Okay, I'm going in one more time to try to get him. I can hear him in there. Oh! The squirrel dropped down a few feet, and now it's lost somewhere in the labyrinth of pipes. Brad went to check the fireplace to see if he could spot him underneath it, while I kept searching for him downstairs. I just hope we haven't lost him for good. If I take this section off, it gives us another foot and a half where we can get even closer to that break down there. I think I'm just gonna pull this one section off here. Okay, I can see him. You ready? I'm ready, brother. Right, here he comes. Send him my way. Here he 
Here he is. That squirrel was just inches away from freedom, so I grabbed the tongs in case he appeared again. I didn't want to lose this guy. I've got my tongs buried in the dirt. Now he's coming up to me. And here he comes. Here he comes again. There he is. Got him. You see him? Got him, Brad. Whew. Shut the door. All right. We got the squirrel. We got the squirrel. OK, now I'm going to get a cage. Thankfully, we got this guy out just in time. Now we just had to get him into a cage, and we were home free. I'm gonna put the cage right here. Did you get him? Yeah, I got him. I uh, need a little help, though. Okay. Hold still for a second. He's got the cage for you. Hold still. I got him. If you want to get the cage, I got the little varmint. I'm sorry, brother. All right. Ah! He bit you? He all right, man? Yeah. Man, was that squirrel feisty. He even took a swing at Brad. And luckily, he was wearing gloves and didn't sustain any injuries. We got the squirrel into the cage, and now everyone is safe. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly he starts freaking out. He's not happy about being drug out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.